What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're finally doing our necromancer stuff. We've been grinding all season long with DH and building all these other builds and we're finally getting to necromancer and I'm very, very excited about necro in season 27 because the PTR for necros was insane. And uh, we finally got a couple builds together so be on the lookout for the other necro videos that we have coming. But right now, this is my favorite one in season 27 is the the speed build, the speed GR build for uh, Death Nova or Blood Nova. Okay, this build is very, very, very strong and it's even going to be good after the season ends even, uh, if they end up taking away, you know, the sanctified item powers. I hope they don't. I think this is really cool. Um, but if they take the powers away, that's fine. I would still like them to keep the angelic crucibles to be able to make one item a sanctified item let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments i mean i think it would be really cool to be able to sanctify one item on here and keep it the exact same and they just take the powers away but either way we have our blood nova build it's a pretty standard build guys we haven't changed too much the only thing that i will say that i kind of toyed around with was uh possibly stone of jordan or briggs wrath instead of coe so you have those two options if you really want to kind of have some flavor to it but to start off, everything is going to be done through uh, your uh, Siphon Blood, which is going to trigger our uh, Death Nova or Blood Nova to deal a bunch of damage through our Simulacrums. Okay, so you're going to need the full Track Ghouls set. This is going to be dominating everything from our Life Spending Abilities, which is our Blood Nova, so you get the increased damage there. We have paired it with Mantle of Channeling to be able to give you more damage when you're channeling Siphon Blood, since you should rarely ever manually cast this. Now, this is for GR speeds, so if you wanted to on the, like, the little minions, you could definitely just cast Blood Nova, no problem. But you got Channel or Mantle of Channeling to do even more damage and take some damage reduction there. All right, so we paired this with the Guardian set. All right, you're going to be using Ogduels for pushing. But the Guardian set on this build for speeds just deals a crap ton of damage. I mean, it gives you your boost to all your base strength, dexterity, all that good stuff. So this is a really, really good set. If you didn't want to run this, you do lose out on a lot of damage. Uh, you could use Dan Dante's Binding and then swap these two uh, to uh, Ogduel, swap your boots to uh, the Stuart Greaves, and then just put Mantle of Channeling into the uh, cube. But basically, that's your push build, but... Guardians is very, very strong. Our rings and amulets, of course, you have to have haunted visions for your simulacrums. And then we have a COE and Crispin Sentence. You definitely want Crispin Sentence to deal, help you deal triple damage, which is fantastic. And then again, guys, COE, you could swap for Stone of Jordan if you really wanted to, or even Briggs Wrath. It's kind of up to you. I just have COE in right now because I was testing it before we made this video. Uh, our legendary gems we have in here, guys, are Bane of the Stricken, uh, Bane of the Trapped, of course, and then Zaya's Stone of Vengeance for just more damage. Uh, you could swap Zaya's Stone of Vengeance for... Uh, uh, no, we got uh, Bane of the Stricken in there. So, yeah, you definitely want that. This isn't a pet dealing damage build, so putting the gem on there that deals damage through your pets wouldn't really help you. You definitely just go with Zaya's Stone of Vengeance. And then, of course, for our weapons, you have Iron Rose, which is necessary for the build. Attacking with Siphon Blood allows you to cast free Blood Novas for free. That's how we get to channel Siphon Blood and deal all our damage. And then, of course, with the Funerary Pick, you want this to do Siphon Blood uh, hits two additional targets. They take increased damage, and then we get the Power Shift uh, is now 20% per stack uh, to benefit all skills. And then we threw our Sanctified Power on here. Now, I haven't, you know, in the testing, guys, this really hasn't shown that, like, hitting enemies with Death Nova five consecutive time adds a spirit that afflicts, afflicts an enemy with every fifth cast of Death Nova. Up to three spirits can be sent at the same time. So, I haven't really seen, like, the damage difference here. Maybe my testing is really bad. I'm not paying attention enough. But that power on here is the one you want for sure. But it's just I haven't noticed anything different, especially in speed. You're killing everything so fast that there's not really a way for hitting you know enemies five times that you really see the the spirits come in and, and change anything i guess the 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 spirits that have afflict an enemy is nice maybe it helps trigger crispin sentence i'm not really sure i haven't really noticed the big difference here but anyway you want funerary pick now into our cube guys we definitely have blood tie blade which gives our death nova uh, deal a bunch of damage. Stuart Greaves to get around the map really fast. And then Royal Ring of Grandeur for the two sets. 
Into our skills, of course, we got Siphon Blood Power Shift for damage. Then we got De Death Nova Blood Nova, uh, Blood Rush Potency to get around the map, Aura of Frailty Frailty, and then Bone Armor Desolation for uh, damage reduction and to stun all of our enemies, which will help trigger Crispin Sentence. And then we got Simulacrum Blood and Bone for two different Simulacrums to help trigger our Death Nova, which is fantastic. Now, in our, in our passives, we got Spreading Maldiction. You receive a 1% bonus when they're afflicted by curses, which should be easily attained with Aura Frailty. Standalone for Armor. Swift Harvesting to increase the attack speed of uh, Siphon Blood. And then here's the thing. In your skills, guys, you could definitely... Like, most of the time, you're going to be rocking Final Service here. But if you don't, if you're especially if you're on Hardcore... But if you're on Softcore, you don't really want to do this. I mean, you're doing speed, so you could if you really wanted to. I've been testing with uh, Grizzly Tribute, Life from Death, and then Blood from Death, or Blood for Blood. You know, any one of these is kind of nice. You could just do Final Service, so you have some flexibility here. Uh, but Grizzly Tribute seems fine when you hit Life on Hit, which is great. Or, um, you know, if you end up consuming a corpse from Stuart Greaves, then, you know, you get the possible chance to spawn a health globe which is cool but grizzly tribute seems fine or uh you know you could do draw life um you know you, there's a couple options here you could even do blood is power if you really wanted to but uh grizzly tribute seems fine otherwise just rock final service and be cool you have you have one flex slot there for uh your ability um but that is the passives guys this build is very very strong very very tanky the the gr push version of this build is is really really strong pushing all the way up to the 140s i think i think it's even cleared 150 or at least it cleared 150 on the on the ptr let's just double check i think it's cleared 150 yeah no problem on 150. so this build is very very strong now i will say when it comes to speeds you it's going to be tough unless you get everything really augmented and you're a high uh, paragon i'm only 1500 so uh i'm you're typically going to be clearing grs gr 90s or gr 100s in two to three minutes um, if you really wanted to, to, to like shrink that time, you could just do, uh, elite hunting with this build. Just like hit elites, manually, manually cast death Nova on the minions to instantly kill them. And then once you hit elites, just siphon blood and deal all the damage, kill the elites and then go on to the next pack. It'll shed a couple seconds, maybe like 20 seconds or so overall, but the build, you're really going to be finishing things in two to three minutes instead of that, like two and under. But this build is still very, very tanky. It's very, very strong. Uh, and I think the build is just really, really awesome for Necro. And again, even after the Sanctified Powers go away, this build is still going to be the exact same. Just you don't have that, you know, spirit affliction from the power. So this build is going to be really, really cool. So unless they nerf it, it's very, very strong, guys. So that is Death Nova uh, Necromancer for Season 27, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This build is very, very strong. Let me know what you think about Necro. They're finally getting a power jump uh, in Diablo 3, which is fantastic. The LOD version of this build and then the push version of the build is very strong. So let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.